So let's go ahead and get started. I prayed over the cards, shuffled them. I've asked that each of you receives at least one message. I am pulling from John Holland's Psychic Tarot deck today. Also going to be pulling a card from Tony Carmine Salerno's Angels, Gods, and Goddesses. I have prayed over the Sibylas and Lenormans. We have those ready if we need any clarifiers along the way. Fix my mess a minute. Now, let me make sure you guys can see that. Pretty close. Pretty close. Hopefully they should be close enough that I don't need to pick them all up. Okay, perfect. So let's see what we have going on, Taurus. I've been trying with all these readings to do truly general readings. <laughs> Keep hoping that maybe work will come up or residence or family. And they keep bringing up love for most. Actually, they have brought not most. Everybody. Everyone's readings have been totally focused on love. Mm, looks like yours is, is as well. Okay. So what we have is we have the situation. You have recognition reward. We have the recent past fulfillment of wishes something that you are unaware of and you have deception and envy and then what is recommended and you have angel of addiction healing so okay let's go ahead and start so current situation for you Taurus is recognition and reward let me hold it up so you can see it a little bit closer in traditional tarot this would be pentacles and this is all about really working hard, receiving reward for your hard work. You know, really working a very long time on, you know, sometimes for people it can be a project. It can be starting their own business, starting their own career. It can be building a family. But, it, but it's something that you've worked long and hard on. It's something that you have achieved level of expert. You've accomplished. You've re reached a level of accomplishment. You see, it's almost like he's got this medal around his neck. And he's standing on a pedestal. But you've been working hard. You've laid this foundation. You've been giving your all. And they sometimes can talk about people giving it all to their career. To succeed. To move to the top. To become the VP, CEO, some <laughs> senior manager. Whatever your, your goal is there. Working very hard for that. Or working very hard to start your own business. Also could be people. You know, you see this person with a diploma. Could be working very hard to finish your degree. But again, for most of you, what this is talking about is that you have worked very hard in your relationship, your marriage. Interesting. Because hmm. what they're saying is, is you, that you've worked very hard, but something has recently happened where you're alone. You're feeling alone. You're feeling isolated. You're feeling cold. I'm saying it's interesting because the recent past is fulfillment of wishes. Oh, okay. They're going to give us more on that in here a second. But for some of you... See how he's like alone, his head is turned down. He's got his hands to himself, you know, if when in a relationship that's going well, your arms are open, lovey touchy. He's touching himself. You're, many of you, you're, you're by yourself. You've been in a marriage, commitment, relationship for a very long time, and something has recently rocked, rocked that boat, rocked you to the core, and has left you feeling alone. You are being helped and guided. You see there's this illumination above his head above his head. You are getting help as you navigate through this, but it's still a difficult time that you're going through. And it's deceiving because this card that you have... Sorry, the dogs, my neighbors. Quiet, Allie. Allie. I love it when my neighbors walk their dog right in front of the house. <laughs> but I'm not going to close the door because we're going to take as much light as we can get today. So you guys can actually see these cards. So what was in the recent past, Ali, shh, is fulfillment of wishes. And you see that she's standing here. This diploma, you have this trunk, this treasure opening, waterfall, and traditional tarot. This would be your cups. So this is all about emotion. And this is about satisfaction. This is about having your dreams come true. All these things that you've worked really hard to have, you know, coming to fruition, being fully satisfied, content being happy, having your life filled with happiness and success and joy, accomplishment, good health, career success, family success, really truly having your dreams come true, having everything that you want at the palm of your hand. You know, the treasure chest is like opening and there's this illumination coming out. Like really everything is just opening up for you. You're receiving all these things. Because you worked hard for those things. 
So, you know, if you're in a marriage that you've been in for 10, 15 years, you've put in a lot of time, you've put in a lot of work to reach that state of fulfillment, accomplishment, happiness. Huh. Okay. So the recent past, everything was great. I mean, for most of you, it, it's talking about your relationship, your marriage. Everything was great. Everything was beautiful. Dreams coming true, put in a lot of time, a lot of work. Blessings all around, happiness, joy, children, fulfillment. But something has rocked that. You haven't figured out quite yet what it is. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to discover why, why things aren't going well. Why your spouse, your partner has pulled away. Leaving you as though you're feeling as though you have this, this burden to carry. You're carrying the weight alone by yourself. And you don't know why. Some of you think it's because of someone else. You think that there's there's cheating involved. But that's not that's not it. It's alcohol, it's it's drugs, it's it's substances. Because what you're unaware of, you have the card deception and envy. You see he's like wearing a false mask. This is all about, you know, people, conditions, things, they are not as they appear. You see, he's got that mask. You know, because, you know, someone's not telling you something. They're keeping something hidden. You don't have all the details. You don't have all the facts. You know something's off. You know something's wrong. But but you don't know what that is because this is what you're unaware of. You don't know the details of what it is that they are hiding. But they are hiding something. And that is what has come in unexpectedly and just tipped the apple cart. Things were going very well. And all of a sudden, they're not. And you know that something's off. They've pulled away. They're isolating. You're heartbroken because you're wondering how, how can we have all these beautiful things and feel as though now it's all just crumbling down and why. But you are going to find out why. And uh, most of you are going to find out why this month. Now, as far as recommendations, you need to help them with their addiction. And it could be you that has it. But I'm getting for most of you, it's them. But the, the addictions have to be healed. And this card is Angel of Addiction Healing. I'll read it while I bring it up so you guys can see up close. This is a time of positive transformation and healing. And there's a prayer. Okay. Let me get that book. Because they want me to read it. There's a prayer. Most of these don't have prayers, but I guess this one does. I will type it up for you. Okay. That does. You are protected and loved by God and the many angels that surround you right now. God and the angels are here to help, support, and heal you. They would like you to know that all can be healed through the light of love. All you need to do is surrender any addiction which you wish to release and which no longer serves you to God and the angels. Invite them into your life and have faith in their ability to help you through this healing process as gently and lovingly as possible. Trust. This is a time of positive transformation and wondrous healing. And then the suggested prayer is, Dear God, angels, and ascended masters, help me to overcome my addiction in the most gentle and loving way possible. Give me the strength, resolve, and courage to stick with my decision to quit. So, let me make a note real quick to uh, type that up for you guys. I'll put it in the comment box below. I will put that for you. Okay, so, ah, throwing stuff. So what you can do to horse is you can, it can help them to heal. If it's you, help yourself. Y you have to ask for help. So for those of you that this is your spouse or your partner, help them, get them to pray and ask because you can pray for divine intervention and help for them, but free will is at play. They're going to need to want that help as well and pray and ask for it. Because the angels, we have free will and they will not step in and do anything for us unless we ask for their help. A lot of times people have difficulty because they think that, you know, God has abandoned them. They think that they're not being watched over. You know, God's not here. The angels aren't here. I'm, I'm not getting any, any help from above. And they don't realize that the angels, that, and the angels are servants of God. You know, they help us because they're helping us as glorifying God. I'm not saying that you praise angels. You don't. That would be God. That would be Jesus, whatever your religion, but it's God <laughs> for everyone. But anyhow, the um, 
Because a lot of people have problems also, you know, talking to angels because they, you know, or they're like, no, it's, it's God, it's Jesus. I don't, you know, raise angels. And you don't. You don't. You glorify God. But the angels are here to glorify God. They glorify God by, and they serve God by helping us. So ask for their help. You're not praying to them in a way of worshiping. You're, you're calling out and saying, okay, God, angels, help me, help me now. And then they will step in and help you because they will not step in. Since we do have free will, they will not step in and help us unless it's, you know, life or death. That's the only time they will step in and intervene without us requesting it. But other than that, you have to ask for help. So start asking for help. Get your spouse, your partner to start asking for help as well. I do get some of you who are actually already seeking help and assistance. And that's good, but it still hasn't brought up to light what the problem is. Some of you just recently started seeing help counselor. Maybe some of you are getting help at your church from your preacher or priest or someone in the clergy. But your partner's still still hiding it. And there's, it's not communicating it yet. See that blue is all around there. He or she. But they're not communicating it. And for most of them, they're not communicating it because they're ashamed. You know, life right now is hard for everybody. It really is. And it, it, it's, it's worldwide. It's really hard for everyone. And I get for some of them that they've been having difficulties at work with their peers. Some of them even, they have financial worries. So for some of you, you know, they're the primary breadwinner for the family and, and they haven't expressed to you that they're kind of freaking out and worried about money or their company's getting ready to downsize and they're afraid they're going to be one of them. But, but they, they aren't doing this to hurt your marriage and hurt your relationship. They love you. They do love you. And it's not someone else. Some of you think it's someone else. It's not someone else. I get for most, it's like alcohol. It could be drugs. But, but they, they have this addictive behavior that they're turning to, trying to help themselves cope with what they're going through. They aren't communicating with you because there's some pride involved with that. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed to share that. And that's why I say male because you can flip the sex in it, but... Getting sense for most of you that it, it's your husband. Because pride is very important to men. We are different. Men and women are different. And that's good. It's a beautiful thing. That's why we are perfect complements of each other. We can't be the exact same. Yeah, can you, you can't balance each other out if you're the exact same. Men are very logical. They're very in their brains. If you have a conversation with a man, you're having a problem. He's just going to immediately, he doesn't want to discuss warm and fuzzy emotions. He just wants to say, okay, here's how we're going to fix it. But that's beautiful because he can fix things. Talk to a woman share your problem stuff. She wants to talk and discuss it and evaluate it, really just feel the emotions of it. Not really so concerned about fixing it. I just want to, I just want to share it. I just want someone to be on that emotional level with me. We're different. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. But because of that difference, it is something that he is ashamed of. He's embarrassed about. He does not want to share. So for those of you that are freaking out thinking that this is someone else, that has come into your marriage, that's what the deception is. That, 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 that is not it. There's some hardships that he's going through. For most, it's money-related. It's career-related. He's dealing with it with alcohol, drugs, some type of addiction behavior. Or she, again, you can flip the sexes. And I know they're same-sex relationships as well. Whatever sounds like your situation, flip the gender. But they just need help. And they're going to get that help. And you're going to get back to the state. That's it. But let's pull a couple clarifiers on. I will do all three. Okay, so recognition and reward. Okay, we have the Dottore, Lanamika, and the Sacerdote. So, get these. Okay, so we have the doctor, the female enemy, and then the priest. It could be someone from your clergy. It could be a pastor or someone from the church related to spirituality. Okay, so for most of you, this relationship that's been very fulfilling, it's, it's been sick, something's been wrong, something's been off. It's, it's not a healthy relationship. And it's because there are things that are hidden. Some of you think it's another woman that is being hidden. But you have started, most, many of you have started to reach out for help. In spiritual help. You've been praying for help. You've been asking for help. And if you're doing that, keep doing that. And others, if you're not, you need to start reaching out, asking for help, asking God and the angels to help you. 
For some of you, you're actually going to counseling. You've recently started doing a marriage counseling. You could be seeing a counselor. You could be seeing someone in your church trying to get some help. Some of you are going to do that. But everyone, it, it's going to be spiritual help. And when I say spiritual, I'm not talking religion. I'm just talking about spiritual help. You need God and the angels to come and help. Because there's a hole, there's a void that he, she is trying to fill. That's what's affecting your relationship. So you just need to get them help. Okay. Yeah. So your recent past, fulfillment of wishes. You have Messagere, Falsita, and Prigione. And this is messages, typically messages from afar. See, there's this distance, but it's emotional. You have water, falsita, deception, lies, and then the prisoner. So in the recent past, this beautiful life that you've built has fallen down because he or she received some information that they've not been sharing with you, but that created some behavior of theirs that they're feeling that they're feeling chain that's keeping them stuck there. This is typically imprisoning ourselves. So they're not sharing those things. He's imprisoned himself with these, these behaviors, trying to cope with the information. So for many, it's very well, for many, it is related to their job. There, some, there's some like downsizes, downsizing going on. But instead of sharing that, what they did is they started drinking or doing substances, things that they were hiding from you, not sharing with you. That's now made them a prisoner, made them feel stuck because now they feel like, oh my gosh, I can't share that. Because they're, I get for most of them that they're, they're embarrassed, they're ashamed. But they don't need to be. We all have, we all have times of weakness. We all do. We all can't be 100% strong, 100% on all the time. We wouldn't be human. <laughs> I mean, the whole reason that we're here on earth is to learn and to grow and to develop. So they just need some compassion, understanding. Now, as far as class, the clarifiers on the deception envy, we have Belvedere, Donna Maritata, and Delorante. So hold these so you guys can see all those. So we have the lookout, the farsightedness. We have the married woman, that's someone that is very maternal, nurturing, mother. And then we have the Delorante, stupid actions, stupid behaviors. So, you know, they were saying some of you think that it's someone else. And they brought that up over here. So this is, again, what you're unaware of. You know something's going on, you're not sure what it is. So you've been trying to dig, you've been trying to figure it out. And some of you think that it's another woman. You're looking, that's, that's what many of you do think that it is. But you know something's going on, you're trying to figure it out because you're trying to protect yourself and your children from these behaviors. You see how it almost looks like they're just drunk and carousing. So you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to know what's going on because you're trying to protect your family, your home, your kids, this relationship from these behaviors, these things that are going on. You will be discovering what it is and it's just getting them help. And it could be a few of you, it's getting yourself help. So for the small number of you that it, it, it is you, now you know. You can just share it with them because they are going to help you with that. They are trying to protect this thing that you've developed, this family, this foundation, this relationship. They are trying to protect it. They're trying to save it and they'll do anything to help save it. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just something for you to share with them because when you share it, then you can heal it, move forward and get back here. And for those of you, which is the majority, that it's your spouse or your partner, now you know for I guess, that some of you have been really thinking that it's someone else and there's been a lot of accusation which is just tearing them down even more because it's making them think she thinks I'm this bad person or he thinks I'm this really bad person and you know they're already ashamed and embarrassed that's making them feel even worse like you know I've been with this person for 10 years how can they you know think that of a, about me or of me. So you're going to get through a Taurus. Things are not as bad as you think. Just need a little bit of help and you will get there. And, they, and you have a lot of help surrounding you. So just ask for that. Accept that. Receive that. Remember that you two are on the same team. You are on the same team. You're going to get back to this beautiful place where you have been. So I do wish you all an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.